from dodgy politicians to hackers online, it's something that comes in many shapes and sizes. But one thing we don't associate it with is football. I mean, sure. Willian is somehow a professional footballer at Arsenal Football Club, and Modric did win the 2018 Ballon d'Or. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. But ultimately, football is a simple game, where 22 men kick a football around for 90 minutes. Surely nothing can go wrong with that, right? No. Introducing Ali Dia. Born in Dakar, Senegal, he made his trade playing lower league football in France and Germany. Although, funnily enough, he never actually lasted longer than a season at any of his clubs. In 1995 alone, he ended up playing for three clubs. But in 1996, Ali decided his best bet was to cross the English Channel and play in England. After failing trials at Gillingham and Bournemouth, you are a failure. You can never make it. He joined Blythe Spartans, who played in the Northern Premier League. Or, to put it into context, at least six divisions below the Premier League. He made one substitute appearance for them against the mighty Boston United, then he left. See, at this stage, most people would have given up. I mean, by now, it would be pretty obvious to most that Ali just wasn't very good at football. But there was one man who thought differently. None other than Graeme Souness. Number one Paul Pogba hater and former Liverpool player, who was, at the time, Southampton's manager. See, at this point, Southampton were fighting relegation, so they were pretty desperate for players, even players from the seventh tier of English football. But you may be wondering, how on earth did Ali manage to catch Souness's attention? Well, I kid you not, Ali Dia got one of his mates to ring up Souness, pretending to be George Weyer. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. You know, FIFA World Player of the Year and Liberian International, George Weyer. Souness was made to believe that Ali Dia was Weyer's cousin, and that he had previously played for PSG, and was a seasoned Senegalese international. None of that was actually true, but who cares? Graeme Souness certainly didn't. So, Ali signed for Southampton on a one-month contract. All of this sounds pretty fraudulent, and rightly so, but we're not done yet. Now, you probably think that Ali would get found out in training pretty quickly. But no. It turns out that Ali had made the bench for the Saturday game against Leeds. I mean, Ali was never going to get on the pitch anyway, so what's the issue? So match day rolls around, and Letizia gets injured early on. But soon as had his secret weapon. Ali. Without actually watching Ali ever play a football match, Soonest decided to bring him on. Southampton lost the match 2-0, and Ali was subbed off in the 85th minute. But how bad could it have been? It was bad. His performance was so bad that he was described as playing like Bambi on ice. And it was unbelievable. He ran around the pitch like Bambi on ice. It was very, very embarrassing to watch. And just after half-time, Graham Soonest actually had to take him off again because he was that bad. His own teammates thought he'd won a raffle to play for Southampton. But to be fair to him, he did actually manage to get a shot on target. So that's more shots on target than on Varo and Morata. Ali never showed up again, and he was released from his contract two weeks later, vanishing into obscurity. Although, he did actually manage to receive an MBA from San Francisco University. But looking back on it, we can't really hate Ali for what he did. At the end of the day, he was just a young lad trying to play some football. Well, if we ignore all the lying and fraudulence involved. But all in all, nobody got hurt, and me and you can look back at it and laugh. You've got to respect the hustle, really. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Dislike it if you dislike it, I'm not bothered. Check out my socials in the link below. Uh, check out my main channel as well if you want more football videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.